What's up, Guiding Bolt fans? This is Nick, and today, as you can probably guess by looking at the uh, screen, we're going to be doing an unboxing video. Today, I have a brick of the uh, Icons of the Realms, Fangs, and Talons, and this is a really cool set. There is some really awesome miniatures in this, uh, in this set, so I'm really hoping we get some good pulls today. Um, so if you're not familiar with the unboxing videos, just a quick rundown. I like to uh, break it down into commons, uncommons, and rares. There are 13, 13 commons in the set. There are 21 uncommons, which are the blue numbers. And then there are 12 rares in the set, which are the red numbers. So usually we only get between three to four rares. I usually have the rares towards the bottom. That way I have uh, room to actually do stuff down here. So as we pull them, we'll just go ahead and put them on their respective spot on the grid. Uh, I know there are some huge characters in here, or huge minis in here, so uh, we'll see if they actually fit on the grid or not, otherwise they might have to sit off to the side. And speaking of, I'm pretty sure this guy right here is a huge miniature. We have an Aboleth here. I think there is a Nightwalker. There's just, like I said, there's all kinds of cool miniatures. Um, unfortunately, a lot of them are rares, but there's lots of really cool common, un common and uncommons as well. Uh, specifically, the uh, I'd like to pull the T-Rex if if uh, we get lucky and then uh, the flail snail would be cool as well just because uh, right now uh, me and the crew are running through Tomb of Annihilation so it'd be nice to get a couple of miniatures for that. So uh, enough blabbing let's go ahead and jump in here. I'm gonna get I think I have I believe this is the lightest box and then this guy right here is the heaviest so we'll start with the lightest one and then do the heaviest one and then just kind of go from there. All right, let's go ahead and open this guy up. I already, uh, I already slipped the tape just to make this go a little bit, uh, a little bit smoother, so you don't have to watch me fight with <laughs> trying to get these boxes open. I think uh, for uncommons, there's also a mimic in this set. I think it's a mimic door, and there's a bunch of kobolds. I think there's like four different kobolds. So, any of those? Oh, that's kind of. What do we got going on here? <laughs> that's kind of. That's kind of funny. Look at this massive void here. So you got this great big old piece of plastic. And then we get, uh, we got this little guy. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I feel like we're missing a base somewhere. Let's see. And he wasn't in plastic either. Oh, there's the base. I think it's just invisible. I don't like when they do this. They always trick me. So look at that. It's completely clear. I couldn't even see it in the bottom of that thing. All right. So this is a Merid. Um, it looks like though, unless he just sits on there. Oh, I guess he does just sit on there. Okay. I thought maybe I thought maybe we had a broken miniature for a second, but I think we're all good. He just sits on the base just like that. It's kind of curious that they didn't attach him, but I'm fine with that as long as he's not broken. Uh, I think we've only we've had pretty good luck with broken miniatures. I think there was the one. The, uh, which box was it? Or which brick was it? It was the brick of Avernus where I had a broken Zerial, which I bought, uh, my heart sunk when I saw that. But luckily, um, Wizards, uh, or they ended up replacing it. I just had to send it in and get it replaced, so that was nice. And then there was a broken Aaron Yes as well. Otherwise, I don't think we've actually had any other broken miniatures, so we've been pretty lucky. Uh, let's look at this guy. Who is this? This is a Gloom Weaver. That's a pretty cool looking miniature. I like the uh, purple's my favorite color and those purple flames around them are pretty cool looking. I like how it's a darker purple and you can still you can still kind of see through it. Let me get a close-up of this guy as well. Hopefully the close-ups look a little bit better since getting the uh, the newer GoPro. That's what I shoot these on. So yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I suppose we should actually put them on their numbers. So this guy was 29. Let's see here. So that is a uncommon this is number 18 so another uncommon go right up there what is this little thing a little pamphlet huh all these those trophy plaques are so cool so expensive but so cool all right let's keep unboxing here what is this i think this is a little bottle yep a bottle number five <laughs> number five of 45 check out that little guy just a goofy looking little dude all right, so he's going to go way up there. And then this looks like a lizard folk of some sort. Just a straight up lizard folk. Really cool paint job, though. Oh, I could have used him the last session, actually. Um, they were fighting lizard folk last, uh, our last session last Friday. The number 9 of 45. Look at that paint job, though. He just looks cool. 
All right. That is the uh, that is the first box, and like I said, I think that was the lightest one, so that kind of makes sense based on this guy feeling that uh, being in the center spot, considering how big that center spot is. Like I said, there's huge characters in this one, so there's some potential to get some big miniatures. Is this one? Hmm. Maybe I maybe I mixed them up. Uh, we're gonna we're still gonna go with this one. All of a sudden, it doesn't feel as heavy as it initially did. Oh, there's something huge in there though. <laughs> awesome. Check this out. Oh, that is sweet. That is our red dragon right there. That means we probably aren't going to get anything good for the rest of the brick, but that's okay because this guy is awesome. Check that out. Let's see if I can get him out of here. Oh, nice. He just came out nice and easy. That is super cool. Kind of like how he's leaning. Look at that when he sits there. He's kind of like leaning off to the side a little bit. That just looks sweet. Uh, let's see here, what number is this guy? That is number 40, 44 of 45. I wonder if he's supposed to have that lean. He, just, he still sits there fine. Kind of does have a little bit of a lean to him. There's a little bit of a, uh, right down there at the bottom of the base, you can see it's a little bit of, little bit of black paint it looks like. But let's get a close up of this guy. That big old flame fireball coming out of his mouth. Just a awesome looking miniature so that's probably going to be our best pull and i'm not sad with that that's awesome if we get uh if we manage to somehow get the other dragon this would be like uh the best brick i've ever opened probably all right what is this little guy we're actually going to set him let's set him off to the side we'll have him up here uh this looks like a spider giant wolf spider pretty good paint job on him too Definitely a creepy crawler. I like the uh, the clear little stands that they have them on as well. Uh, let's see here. So that is number eight. And what do we got here? And that uh, obviously that dragon was our rare. So that's our first rare. And usually I get three to four. I'm thinking, is there invisible guys in this one? I don't think there's any invisible characters in this set. So we probably aren't going to get more than three rares. That usually seems to be how it goes. So this is a Goliath fighter. That is number one. You can see his, uh, his sword's a little bent, so to give him a hot water bath and straighten that out, but he looks pretty cool. He'll go all the way up there. So that is box number two. I already got a rare and it's a dragon, so we're doing good. Let's see here. Let's try to pick another heavy one. This one feels pretty heavy. Oh, look at this person. Or look at this mini sitting here. Didn't even see it. This is a uh, Banshee, so number 23 of 45. I have, I think I have other Banshee miniatures, if I remember right, but this one looks pretty cool. I like, I like her hair in this one. You can look, it looks like she's, you know, chasing, pursuing somebody. <laughs> so that is number 23. That is a nice, that's a nice uncommon. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Box number three. Let's keep going. Oh, we got a, uh, what is the golden horse? It starts with a K, a cure. Kirijin, Kirijin or something like that. Another really cool, oh nice, there's our Mimic back there too, sweet. Uh, Kirin is how it looks like it's how it's pronounced. That's number 33 of 45, and that is a really slick looking miniature as well. Man, there's some good looking minis in this set. Check out that paint job. Got a horse with a mustache. <laughs> Uh, let's see here, number 33. Uh, so, right there, dead center. He's probably going to have to sit off to the side as well. And like, <clears throat> every one of our miniatures fell out of the sack, so that made it easy on us. This is, I was really hoping to get this guy. This is a really cool, really cool mini. I uh, really like Mimics. They're, uh, oh, that's pretty cool too. So you got it flipped around this way, and it just looks like a regular door. And then once... Uh, once the PCs go and try to open it, then bam, there's the mimic door. That's awesome. Got a bunch of eyes up there. Hopefully you can see that. <laughs> uh, that is number 21. Let me stick him over there. This looks like, uh, I was going to say, it just looks like a regular wizard, but there is a skull underneath that hat. You can't really see it too much because it's kind of hidden. Uh, this is a skeletal, skeletal alchemist, number 7 of 45. Looks like he's holding like a little potion bottle there. It's clear with a gold cap. That's pretty cool. Or yellow cap. Another good looking mini. And we got ourselves a pack mule. 
Number 11 of 45. Give him a little spin for the camera. Probably will actually end up using this guy. I'll find a use for him. I ended up using the goat. Uh, and I didn't think I would use the goat, <laughs> the mountain goat. I uh, used him to try to buck some people off of the side of a mountain, so it was pretty fun. Uh, let's see here, that's number 11. We'll stick that right there. All right, so that is box number three. Let's, uh, let's hop into box number four and we'll be half done here. This one feels pretty light. I'm guessing there's probably nothing, nothing big in here, unfortunately. But we got two pretty, pretty good sized minis already. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, that's an elemental, so that's a good pull. I think there's an elemental. I think there's a fire, earth, water, and air ele elemental in this set. So I think there's pretty much uh, all of the elementals. Uh, so this is an earth elemental number 26. Cool looking miniature though. Another clear, another clear base miniature. Uh, number 26, that's going to be right here. Uh-oh, we have something. We'll have to figure out where this came from. You can see there's a a little piece right here of somebody that broke. It almost looks like a, almost looks like a tail. We'll set that off to the side. I might have to, might have to send one in. Now let's take a look at this guy first. He's got some just huge hands. Uh, that is a skulk, number 12 of 45. So it didn't come off of him. And we're filling out our filling out our commons pretty good up there. It looks like we're only missing a couple of commons, and we'll have the full common set. This guy's probably a common as well. Number 14. Oh, no, actually, he's the first uncommon for the set. That is a Goliath fighter. Got a big old, big old war hammer there. He's pretty armored up. Stick him there. This looks like a hag. This is going to be a rare. I hate to burn a rare slot for this because I already have a green hag, but... But we'll take it. Uh, this one, I mean, this one's actually a pretty cool miniature. I'm kind of nervous about this, though. Look at that big old, she's got like a big basket full of human remains, which is pretty grotesque, but it looks really cool. But I'm kind of worried about uh, any uh, any pressure being put on that wrist right there. She looks kind of, she looks kind of old and frail. I'd hate for that to snap off. <laughs> and it looks like she's like clutching a heart in the other hand. So that's a cool looking miniature. And I don't think that piece came off this one either. It doesn't look like there's no black on this one. I wonder what that came off of. All right, so that's number 37. So that is, like I said, that's another rare. We'll stick her down there. Let me look at this again. Maybe it's like part of the, part of the, no. It doesn't look like it's part of his robe. Not part of his hat. It almost kind of looks like, you know, part of the hat right there. Huh. All right, well, that's a mystery. We'll figure it out. This guy, maybe? Oh, because that's all purple. Huh. And I had him in the wrong spot, 218. He's supposed to be right there. All right, we'll set that off to the side. All right, let's keep, uh, let's keep unboxing. I'll do this one off screen. Just so I can drop it down here in the center. All right, so it looks like we got another elemental. And I'm guessing that is a wind elemental. Empty these guys out here. This guy's just stuck in there. All right, we fought him out. Uh, so this is an air elemental number number 27 of 45. Some, that's uh, that clear plastic just looks, makes this guy just pop. You can kind of see, I can see, see the other ones through them. That's pretty cool. All right, so this guy was number 27. Go right there next to the earth elemental. Uh oh, we got our first duplicate. Like it's another uh, another spider. Number eight. I'll stick that. Stick him up there next to his buddy. Haven't got any kobolds yet, but I'm thinking this is no. This actually is not a kobold. I was hoping to pull some kobolds here because there's four different ones, and I love using kobolds. This is a. Uh, oh man, what is this? <laughs> a burbling. I don't even remember seeing this guy in the set. Number nineteen. Nineteen of forty-five. Kind of like a little. It's like a little harpy type creature, like a male harpy with a little goatee. I don't know. I'll have to look this guy up. I'm not even, I'm not familiar with what this guy is. Huh, cool. Well, didn't have him before, so I'll take him. Uh, let's see here. What's this little guy? Oh, we got two duplicates in one box. Ah, oh, sad face. 
Uh, that was number five of 45. That is another Boggle, so we'll stick him up there. All right, let's let's uh, let's keep going. Oh, this one's uh, this is a heavy one. Something good. Give me that T-Rex that we were hoping for. Oh, what is this? Oh, is that a flail snail? Holy smokes, I didn't realize it was that big. Man, look at the size of that. That is a huge snail. <laughs> I had no idea. All right, let me get this guy out of here. That is an awesome looking mini. Look at that thing. Wow. Look at that shell. Just that prismatic shell, the, the five flails on his head. And uh, I didn't realize they had such a uh, such an ugly mouth. Wouldn't want that guy chewing on you. But that is a cool miniature. That is just awesome. Number 38, and it's a rare. Huh. Yep. I like that one. This has been an awesome brick. All right, let's see what else we got here. Looks like we got a Wan T of some sort. Another awesome looking miniature. Uh, let's see here, number 31. So not a uh, not a rare, but check this guy out. There's like one, how many heads has he got? One, two, three, four, five, six heads, two arms, and just a big old snake body. That is cool. Uh, this is a one T, I can't even read the second part of it. Um, Amanthina, Amanthema, that might be it. Awesome miniature though. All right, and uh, I mean, once they get to Omu and are dealing with the Wan T, I don't think there's one of these specifically called out in the adventure, but that doesn't mean that we can't add one. So we'll probably end up adding this guy in just to use this miniature. <clears throat> Excuse me. And actually right now, they're gonna be super excited. We're actually gonna probably end up playing today. Um, they had a uh, they, ha they had the uh, flatulent Triceratops that they were uh, using as a pack mount um, from Gondo and Ferule, but they ended up uh, they ended up losing it, and they uh, now have a flail snail instead from actually that lizard folk encounter. So now they now they can ride around on this thing. So they're going to be pretty excited to see this. I think <laughs> that's pretty cool. All right, what is this guy? Running out of room here. Let's set our snail off to the side as well. Still have no idea where that tail came from. All right, this looks like an NPC type character. I'm drowning in uh, boxes and plastic here as well. So this is a human wizard. That's pretty cool. Good looking mini. That'll be a nice one for somebody to use as a, uh, for one of my uh, players to use as a uh, possible uh, mini at some point. Uh, number 17, yeah, and he's an uncommon too. Okay, cool. This looks like an ambush drake. And yes, it is number 10 of 45. It's pretty cool looking. Nice paint job. I like that green. It's kind of like a foresty green color. Uh, let's see here. He is number 10. So we'll go right up there. Do we have... Yeah, we still don't have... I feel like all the... All the commons I'm missing are probably the kobolds that I was hoping to get. <laughs> it's been a great box other than uh, other than not getting any kobolds. But if I'm going to get, uh, you know, dragons and flail snails, I'll take that over kobolds any day. Um, oh, this is another heavy one. Um, we've already got two good-sized rares. I've, this is pretty heavy. Maybe this is our T-Rex. That'd be awesome if it was. I'm guessing we aren't gonna get another huge rare though. That'd be, that would just be, plus we've already got three as well because I forgot about the hag right there. Oh man, <laughs> this is like easily the best brick that I've had in a while, if not ever. Look at that, what were we hoping for? T-Rex, there he is. Uh, looks like his tail must attach to him. It looks like he's a, he's a little shorter than he's supposed to be. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get him out of here. <clears throat> it's gonna be a fight. I've got a big head and little arms. <laughs> that is an awesome miniature. Uh, that is number 30 of 45, and I am glad we got this guy. Let's see if we can get his tail attached here. His tail came in its own separate baggie right there. And he's not, uh, he doesn't have the best balance without a tail, surprisingly. All right, get out of there. So look at how that, that is a big connector right there. Let's see if this will, let's see how this fits on him here. 
Uh, coming off camera again for a second. Actually, if it goes on there pretty nicely, and you can't, uh, there's a little bit of a, <clears throat> excuse me, a little bit of a seam line there, but that doesn't look bad at all. And now we probably, let's sit them right out here front and center. That is awesome. We're going to be using a lot of these miniatures very soon, so I'm super excited about that as well. That is just cool. What was this number again? Number 30. Let's get a, uh, rah. That's probably a little, a little much, but <laughs> look at how cool this guy is. All right, uh, number 30. We'll set him off to the side. He's too big as well. Let's, uh, and actually I think we got some kobolds here. Finally, finally got some kobolds. And we got the kobold inventor, which is awesome. It looks like there's a skunk sticking out of his uh, backpack. Kobold inventor number 15. So there is one kobold down. Uh, who is this guy? This is a animated armor. Okay, that's a cool one. That is one of our commons, so that'll help us there. We're only, miss only missing three commons now after this guy, number six. Get a give him a spin and a close-up just because he looks cool with that silver armor. And let's see here. Is this another kobold? It is. Oh. Was there a variant? Kobold inventor? This looks like an inventor as well. Huh. So it looks like there is... Let's get the other guy back out here for a second. There is a common and an uncommon kobold inventor. One guy's got a basket of... Uh, I'm not sure what that is. And I can't remember their stat card. I know they have a whole bunch. These guys are like little MacGyvers of uh, Forgotten Realms. That's why I love using them. Um, it's funny. They both got skunks sticking out of their backpacks, though. <laughs> so one's got like a... Uh, looks like a looks like a staff. And I think there actually looks like there is either a snake or a scorpion stinger or something stuck to the end of it. And then this guy's got, like I said, like a basket of something. Maybe a basket of rot rubs or something. I'm not sure what he has. But that's still... Those are pretty cool. I like those guys. So that was number two and number 15. So still missing, still missing three uncommons. And we are down to our last box. So it's fairly light, nothing huge in this one, but look at what we've got so far. It's been a, it's been just a sweet brick. Let's go ahead and open up this last one and finish off this box. And we got, it looks like a water elemental. So that's cool. I think we're only missed out on the fire, and that is fine because I already have fire elementals, so I'm not sad about that. Uh-oh. Hold up. You'll see what I uh-oh'd about in a second here after I fight him out of the box. And actually, it's not an uh-oh. He's another one of those weird ones. He's like that, uh, like this guy where he just kind of sits on the base. So you can see here the base came off, but this guy is number... It looks like he's supposed to be connected, though. Uh, water elemental number 25 of 45. Let's see if we can get him back on there. Looks like just like that, maybe. Well, we'll fight with him later. That is him, though. Good looking miniature. Um, there's the two, you can see the two uh, pegs right here, so he'll sit on the pegs again. Oh, and actually, one's a smaller. Okay, that's probably what I was doing wrong. There we go. Now he's back on there. So we'll give him a little bit of glue and stick him back to his base. That's not the uh, that's not the end of the world. And that is number twenty-five. And it looks like we have a Thean wizard here. Oh, a Thean apprentice, number twenty. Got a little piece of hair or something on him. Twenty of forty-five. He's gonna go up there. All right, we're getting a couple of uh. Getting a couple of the other other commons and uncommons that we needed. This is a Vine Blight, number 13 of 45. Could have used him earlier, too. The uh, the group fought some assassin vines in a shambling mound. It would have been, he would have been a good addition to that fight. All right, and last but not least, let's finish this one off. I think this, uh, this video is running a little bit longer than, I usually, uh, than they usually are. Apparently, I'm talkative today. All right, this was number 9 of 45. That is another lizard folk. So we didn't get 3 and 4. I know we missed out on two kobolds. Uh, we missed a fire elemental. Obviously, there's a bunch of good rares still, but we got our uh, we got our red dragon here and our flail snail and uh, the uh, Kieran and the T-Rex. So we got some pretty awesome large miniatures or huge miniatures. So I think we'll go ahead and end this video here. Uh, thanks for watching as, as always, and we'll see you in the next one.